So today I'm going to show you how to make some really yummy turkey meatballs because I love being in the kitchen and I love to cook. And recently I read an article about snacks and right now we're all quarantined. We're all at home staying safe. And I thought, why not teach you all at home how to make some really easy mini turkey meatballs? Um, my nephews in California love these. I make them every year for Christmas and they're gluten-free. So let me show you what the ingredients are. Follow me. Ready? Okay, so I'm really excited to show you this. Um... <laughs> so you're gonna need about a pound of turkey meat. This is ground turkey meat. It's lean. Um, I think it's like 90% lean or whatever. It's organic. And again, it's gonna depend on you know how big you want to make them. We're gonna try to end up with turkey meatballs the size of this globe of garlic. Okay, here's your ingredients. Next, we've got shallots. I love shallots. You can use onion, red onion, or white onion. I just happen to love shallots because I'm not a big onion person. Next, I'm gonna add some basil. You don't have to. That's just me. I love basil. So. Um, Chop, chop, get to your basil chopping. <laughs> and then you're gonna uh, chop a little garlic. I'm gonna do four cloves. Uh, I'm gonna open this can of diced tomatoes and use some of them. You can also use ketchup. You can get any kind of breadcrumbs, panko. I am gluten-free, I try to be gluten-free. It's good for your gut, it's good for digestion, decreasing inflammation in your body if you have any. So just a little tip there for y'all listening. So a cup of that, a cup of Parmesan cheese or a mix or any kind of cheese grated is, is best. You can do it where it's a little shredded. One to two eggs, I pulled out three because sometimes I want them just like a little extra, you know, juicy. Okay, so once you get your hands into the meat, I put two eggs and it is feeling a little wet to me. So this is where, you know, you use your best judgment and um, maybe sprinkle on a little bit more breadcrumbs or just a little bit of flour. Two things I, three things I forgot to mention is a little bit of salt and pepper. No big deal, because we're gonna do it now because that's part of my recipe. <laughs> As that I that I make up on the spot. Okay, so a little salt and pepper. Add more in a little bit. And a little bit of olive oil. So the oven is set for 400 degrees and we're gonna put these little guys in the oven. You're gonna check it at 15 minutes to see how they're doing. Okay. lunch or dinner is served. So thanks for tuning in and learning how to make some healthy gluten-free mini turkey meatballs. The best part of making them is you have a little leftover for tomorrow. Be well, be safe. Bye.